Hi guys, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Um, today's video is going to be about self-love. And I know Valentine's Day has already passed when this will come out, but Valentine's Day, we think about loving others, which in the season of love, I think we need to also consider ourselves. So I'm coming at you with some self-care ideas. So I'm very excited to share them with you. Um, I think self-care, we tend to think about all the expensive things that we can do. Um, I have to go get my nails done for self-care and that costs money. I have to get a massage. Um, today's self-care ideas are simple and they cost no money. I think there's one that costs, no, they cost no money. Sorry, I have them both on my bullet journal and my phone because I was out and about and I thought of some. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So number one is read a book. Now I used to not, I used to hate reading. I thought it was so boring until I found I love um, self help books, um, self improvement books, not help books, self improvement books. I absolutely love them. And I'll turn on some soft music and just turn on just my lamp and make it a vibe and just indulge in a book. Um, the second one, which is kind of the same vibe, is journaling. Um, I read this quote the other day that was basically someone saying, you know, you do math problems. It's hard to do complicated math problems on in your head. So why are we trying to do that with our life problems? So writing them down, um, journaling, just working through things and your thoughts. Um, the next one is quiet time. I mean, this is kind of meditation or just being in the moment quietly, if that makes sense. This next one, I did the other day because I was feeling a little drained and so I needed something to fill my cup so I went on a walk and it was snowing and it was dark but the snow was softly falling and it was just oh so magical like I loved it so much um, so I went on a walk and no one else was around because it was later at night and then it was snowing, so no one's gonna go on a walk. So I literally just went on a walk and I started singing like on my walk and it was the most healing thing ever and a, a slow walk. I think a lot of times we go on walks and it's like, I'm doing this for exercise or I'm going somewhere so I need to walk fast. But it doesn't need to be like that. A slow walk is so healing for the soul and just looking at the things around you. Sorry, I kind of went on a tangent there. My next one, which is number five, I believe. Number five is singing. I Yeah, it just heals my soul. And if you don't like singing, then maybe listen to music. That's another one. Um, number six is call a loved one. Um... It could be your family, your friends, and just talk. I love that one. Um, enjoy a meal slowly. Slowly eat a meal. Slowly cook a meal. It's one of my favorite things to do. And just sit. Um, if you're with your loved ones, sit and enjoy each other's company. Or like myself, I usually eat most of my meals alone. And I will just sit next to the window and look outside. And it's... One of my favorite things. Um, then one of my favorites and what I've done back home with my mom is cook slow, like just cook together to French cooking music. It's, it's a vibe and I love it. Um, the next one is just sitting in nature uh, and enjoying the beautiful, beautiful earth we have. Enjoy a shower. Um, soft, easy exercise. Exercise is such a self-care thing that we can't let become too much of a, 
like a thing that we need to that we make ourselves do enjoy exercising enjoy moving your body and that can be very soft very easy movements yeah um the next one is worship so whatever faith you are if you don't have a faith maybe this is meditation for you but for me something that is so healing and self-care and love is indulging and just diving into my scriptures i find it so healing so whatever your wor- type of worship may be um that is one of my favorite things to do um and then the final one and there's many more than this but the final one is getting a good night's rest maybe this is going to bed early or maybe this is sleeping in a bit longer but get some good rest rest is so important for our mental um, recovery as well as our physical just as important i would say mental is probably more important than the physical because if we're mentally well then we can be physically well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below if you like this video and if you um are gonna try any of these self-care ideas or if you have your own i would love to hear about your own self-care ideas self-love ideas um and then if you are liking my videos and if this is the first one and you liked it subscribe down below and make sure you click the bell so you know every time i post a video and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and don't forget to stay mindful and i'll see you guys next week thanks for watching mm-hmm.